Alright, so I've thrown it up here on the fleshing beam and I'm going to take it and knock off all this here meat and fat and uh, rough flesh it is what it's called. Get all that thick stuff off of there and I'm going to throw it on the pressure washer. Alright, now as you can see, I took the fleshing knife and knocked all that meat off of there. Now I'm going to throw it on the pressure washer and just rinse it down real good and get the uh, fat and a little bit of grease off of it. All right, well, we got the pressure washer here. Got my little homemade flushing beam. I'm gonna throw the otter up here on pressure wash it. All right, I got it up here on this here homemade flushing beam and I'm gonna rinse it down. All right, now as you can see, cleaned it up, got it nice and clean and white and now it's ready to go into the tanning solution. That's next. All right, guys, here we go. Here's the tanning formula that I've been using for quite a few years, and I have not had any issues out of Crotan. Now, this bottle here is the Crotan Special Whitetail Formula. They also make it in a Crotan 2000. Both of them work just the same. They both work great. That one there is really kind of catered more to deer capes. All right, now, I'm going to explain the instructions and how I do it. I've made a few mistakes over the years, so kind of listen and follow along with me, and maybe you won't make a mistake that I've made. All right, let me start right here. So here's the instruction sheet. I keep it on the clipboard to always be able to look back at it at any time and make sure I'm accurate with my measurements, whether it's a deer, small capes, or, you know, pelts for small game. Now, it says right here, life-size bobcat, fox two squirrels the otter is going to follow under it it's going to require 1.25 gallons of water 32 ounces of salt and four ounces of crotan all right well let's start with the water for those who have been watching my videos you already know for those that have not let me explain it to you do not take and guess a five gallon bucket as you can see a five gallon bucket is closer to four and a half than five gallons do not guess. It's very important that you get everything according to the instructions or you'll have issues like hair slippage or improper tanning and which causes hair slippage. So I've got measured out a gallon and a quarter gallon, 1.25. I'm going to put them in there. Then I've got, and here's what I'm talking about, two pounds of salt, which is 32 ounces on a kitchen digital scale not 32 ounces in a measuring cup that is inaccurate then I have my four ounces of crotan here so first I'm gonna dump the salt in there and use cool water do not use warm and especially hot water now I'm gonna dump in my gallon and take your time the salt will dissolve it'll just take you a few minutes and there's an old saying good taxidermy wasn't done fast and fast taxidermy isn't good so take your time when it comes to doing things like this all right now I got those in there now I'm gonna take them and start mixing up the salt until it dissolves and then I'll add in the crotan all right now as you can see all the salts dissolved we're going to add in the crotan and let me tell you something be careful breathing this stuff it's uh got a little bit of a punch to it let's say that and that's the acid in it that you can smell but i'm still here after all these years so i don't think a little bit will kill you all right guys after you get the crotan mixed in there then get your pelt in there start working it working it you're going to have it inside out and you're going to start working it and working it and working it and do the best you can to get all that air out of there and after you get the air out and it's going to tell you to take a water bottle and stick a water bottle down in there and that's going to hold it down just like that right there Make sure you get all that air out of there though, the best you can, and then put that water bottle in there to hold it down. Sometimes that skin pelta 
to pop up on the sides and it get to be a little bit of a pain in the butt but keep messing with it and it'll hold it down and then come out here every four six hours especially the first day and work it and work it and keep working it to get a lot of that air out of there because if there's any air pockets in there it won't take the tanning formula and that's where you're going to have problems all right well i'm gonna come back out here in a you know a few hours before i go to bed do it again then hit it first thing in the morning